Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Friday's reading, The Red, and I can see the sunshine. Wonderful. The warmth of a new October day. Brilliant. Mark chapter 6 today, and looking at verse 4, a new story. Jesus said to them, a prophet is not dishonoured except in his hometown and among his own relatives and in his own household. So a prophet is not dishonoured. So the prophet will find honour everywhere except amongst the people who know him the most. And this came out of the realisation that when he was in Capernaum and he was trying to do many miracles and he couldn't because the people couldn't get past the fact that he was the carpenter's son, his hometown, and he and his sisters and his brothers lived amongst them. They couldn't get past the limitations of watching him grow up. And so they couldn't see that he was something significant and they couldn't invest their faith in him because they couldn't get past the fact that they couldn't see what they knew. They couldn't see beyond what they knew. And so Jesus says these words. He says, a prophet is not without dishonour except. So honour was given to the prophet wherever he went, except amongst the people that knew him the most, amongst his own and amongst those who knew him best. Why is that? And it's because there's a sense inside of every one of us that looks at what we see in front of us and we make assumptions regarding what we see. And the truth is that we should be those who um, get the most support from the people around us. But somehow it doesn't seem to apply like that. Whether it's a spirit of jealousy or envy or frustration or, or some kind of confused perspective regarding the relationships that we're having with people. I don't know. Sibling rivalry. I don't know. But the fact is that it's definitely there. And so there's no honour. And of course, the idea of honour is to pay respect. But it's more than just respect. It's to elevate someone in a, in a way that enables you to draw from them. When you come to a place of surrender and submission, that your opinion and your perspective, and not just yours, but everyone around you's opinion and perspective, is not what you're needing. It's not what you're looking for. When you when you come to a place where you realise that the only person that you need to be affirmed by is God Almighty. The only person whose opinion you should be most concerned about is God's. What God thinks about you, what God feels about you, what God says about you. It's all about what God thinks. And when your only person that you have a desire to please is God, then, then you can do anything. Because the sense of affirmation about who you are as a person in his eyes is the strength you need to keep going and keep pressing, even when everything else is going is breaking around you. Brothers and sisters, don't be controlled by the opinions and the limitations of other people's expectations of you. Give yourself to the, the only one who really matters. And that is God. God is the only one that really matters. And I tell you, if you just do what God wants, you can never be in the wrong. And actually, all the people around you will come to love the reality of the things that you do. Because when God does stuff, he always brings good. And therefore, the people around you will benefit from the good that you are bringing. Thank you for joining me. Have a great weekend. I hope it's really sunny. God bless you all.